Hello there, in this video I'm going to introduce you a new feature we have in OneDrive for Business that basically allows us to add any shared folder to our, the files area in OneDrive for Business. Basically what we are doing is just adding shortcut to this to those shared folders in our OneDrive for Business. We have a, some, some documentation and the Microsoft support pages where you can see some details about how these features works. I can say that this documentation is not very dated, but at least it's going to provide you a clear understanding about how it works. But let's go to OneDrive for Business. So here I am in uh, my OneDrive for Business. This is actually a demo tenant, uh, the, the famous Contoso demo tenant. And if I click on the share view in OneDrive for Business, what I can do from, uh, from here is just to click if I have a folder just click on the folder and I can add the a shortcut to that share folder to uh, to my files area in OneDrive for Business. I don't have a folder in this uh, demo tenant, but I have another demo tenant where I can show you this in action. So let's click on uh, share over here. And for instance, I'm going to select this project online share folder. And as you can see here, as soon as I select the share folder, I'm going to see add shortcut to my files action in the OneDrive for Business navigation bar. The same action is showing at, uh, at the folder level. So if I click on any of them, what is going to happen is that this folder is going to be automatically added to my files in OneDrive for Business. Indeed, I have the folder here. And of course, any uh, permission settings, any compliance settings, and so on is still applicable uh, here in my files area because what I'm doing is just adding a shortcut. But this shortcut is very useful because if I'm, uh, uh, I'm synchronizing this uh, OneDrive for Business, with this uh, wonderful business sync client, I'm also going to synchronize this share folder that I did, uh, that uh, I added to my files by means of this shortcut. Of course, at any point, I can do the, the opposite. I can select the folder and then I can click on remove. So the shortcut is removed from my files in wonderful business. But this feature is not only available for a folder shared with my user in one day for business is also available when I'm access to any share folder or any sorry it's also available when I access any any share library from one day for business as I will show you in a minute. So for instance if I click on marketing material share library I should see here that I can also add a shortcut to the full library in uh, my one day for business but it's not happening anymore. I can tell you that this was uh, available like three or four days ago, but it's missing from this tenant. But yeah, lucky of me, I can show you on another tenant in the Contoso tenant. So in this demo, I'm going to click on uh, Crisis Management, for instance. And as you can see here, as expected, I have a nice shortcut to my files, which allows me to add the full document library, uh, a shortcut to the full document library in my files section in OneDrive for Business. So I can do that. And I'm having the same experience. Um, the full document library access is going to be added at a shortcut to uh, my OneDrive for Business. Indeed, here it is. And again, I can select this shortcut and I can remove at any point. Of course, if I click on any other shared library, where actually I have this campaign event where I have two shared library and I click on documents, Okay, let's look for a shared library where actually I can have folders because I want to show you just an example, sales marketing, for instance. Hey, yeah, here we are. And of course, I can do the same, not only for the full document library, just for a folder in the full, in the document library. For instance, I can select monthly reports and then I can click on a shortcut to my files and I'm going, to do, I'm going to do the same. I'm going to create the shortcut to this folder in this specific document library in my files in OneDrive for Business. Again, here I am. And yeah, I didn't uh, say this before, but you can easily identify uh, shortcuts to share folders coming from uh, OneDrive for Business or coming from shared libraries because of uh, this symbol you have here in the folder icon. Of course, I can again remove the shortcut by clicking on the remove action in the OneDrive for Business navigation bar. So this is a very useful feature because it's providing a, a way of just having all the folders I have access to 
uh, because actually are folders I own or because uh, those folders were shared with me and I can see all those folders in just a central location that is my files in my for business and I can sync the files to my local PC and so on so yeah productivity in your hands um, as I say a very nice feature and I hope you enjoy it when you have the opportunity to test it out and that's all for my side. I hope you have found this video useful. Um, yeah, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.